So we can begin with uh, a period of uh, quiet meditation. Try and find your usual posture, whether you're on the floor or on a chair. Try to bring up energy to your posture by keeping your back straight and your head up. And just send your attention down from the top of the head through your body to your toes and then back up. Just noticing any pressure, tension that you can relax. Now center your awareness on the breath, the tip of the nostrils, that feeling of the in and out breath. And one of the qualities that you need to really develop as you practice mindfulness of breathing is contentment. And this contentment is on a number of levels. There's contentment with your posture as you're sitting. So you're learning to sit, find the the best posture you can at this time with your body, whether you're young, old, you have some aches and pains or not. Learning to be content with your body as it is right now. Content with the feelings coming to you, so like the feelings of cool air, hot air, sounds, the surrounding environment. Just try to be find contentment in the situation you have. This is one level of contentment. Contentment with your physical body and the environment around you. And even though it may not be perfect, it's good enough. It's already a blessing that you have the chance to practice meditation. Contentment with your breath, the actual sensation of the in-breath, the out-breath. It's good enough. Another factor that helps us to bring up contentment is recollecting the Buddha, our teacher, the Dhamma, the path of practice that leads to the truth, and the Sangha, those who have practiced this path and realized the truth, can give us a great sense of contentment to be on the same path as the Buddha, as the Noble Sangha. Even if we feel we're very new to the Buddhist practice or to meditation, we feel that we're not very good at it or that we haven't gone very far in our practice, just to be on the path that the Buddha taught to have the chance to practice it. Is such an uh, amazing thing. And the contentment with the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha, the happiness of being able to practice brings up an inner feeling of contentment. And contentment with your state of mind. So you may not yet be very peaceful. You turn to follow the feeling of the in and out breath and bring up mindful awareness. Depending on what's been going on in your day or just now, you may feel already feel calm or you may feel restless and agitated. You may feel energized and bright or you may feel dull and sleepy. Be content with where you're at right now. 
you have to accept. If you are feeling tired, well, there'll be reasons for that. Maybe because it's the, the later part of the day and you've been doing other things, so your energy is down. Or you may feel distracted because of things you've been doing today or events in your life, work, family, <clears throat> and so on. But be content with yourself where you're at right now. Even if you have a lot of stressful thoughts coming up or worries, the contentment comes from practicing what the Buddha taught having a way to deal with your own mind. Nothing is ever hopeless when it comes to practicing the Dhamma. We can be mindful of everything. We can learn from every situation. And as we learn, we become a little wiser in how to look after our mind, to let go of the negative, distracting thoughts, and to cultivate, bring up the wholesome thoughts, and to bring up mindfulness and abandon distraction, worry, desires to do other things. At this time, we can abandon it all, let it all go. So to find contentment in letting go. To see that it's a good thing for us to let go. Letting go brings us to the present moment. And it's a skill that helps to keep our mind in a good space. It's something we have to nourish and cultivate through our own effort. And if we can't immediately let go of what's distracting us, then we have to be patient. So contentment also supports patience. Patience supports contentment. Contentment in itself is already a kind of letting go. Letting go of what is not content. The frustrations, the ambitions, the worries. At this time, you can allow yourself to let everything go, put it all down. It's quite all right. Finally, contentment just with one in-breath, one out-breath, fully mindful, fully aware, nothing else to be done, nowhere else to go at this time, just content to come back to the breath, even if you lose it. You're lost into the daydreams and the stories of the mind. It's content to come back to the breath. One breath in, one breath out. 